Well, a few years ago, this is just an insight onto how my mind works. A few years ago, when I was um, recuperating from having my bypass operation, um, I went back to college. One, to um, upgrade some of my certificates and qualifications. Um, the main one was to learn how to use a computer. But we had the team building tests. Now, they gave us two bags of marshmallows, a pack of spaghetti and a stack of coffee cups. And said, right, use the spaghetti and the coffee at the marshmallows to build a bridge to hold as many coffee cups as you can. This was my effort. <laughs> Morning people, welcome back to the channel. Breathing's a bit weird today, I smoked far too much on the live last night. <coughs> but what a live, absolutely brilliant. As soon as we went over to um, subscribers only, the night panned out, we got rid of a lot of the trolls. Real nice stream. Nice one, guys, that were there. And Pap, of course, the host. Very enjoyable. So, no, anyway, let's get into things. I didn't look at a lot over the weekend. I've been busy and obviously family things and that as well. But uh, Boris has now showed his ultimate arrogance. Many of his own ministers were calling for him to resign the opposition were calling for him to resign. Many of the public are calling for him to resign over the way he's been acting. And his reply to that was change the rules in the ministerial code. So he doesn't have to. So now, any MP can break the ministerial code, say what he wants. And he's not forced to resign. <laughs> I mean, th this is the uh, overhaul that Bom Boris promised in Westminster, is it? Unbelievable. No reform there. They're just getting worse. I mean, Boris, you need to take a break, mate, and go and have a look at yourself and listen to what people are saying. Because it, it actually looks like he's getting ready to install himself as a a dictator with all, all the laws that they want to bring through, the bills, all designed for oppression and control. Makes you think, doesn't it? Now, I, I said the other day about the Lurgy cases were dropping and they're starting the fear campaign now about the monkeypox and uh, that all these new, well, I say new, they're not new diseases and infections. They've always been there. It's just that now they're coming to the front a bit more, um, which I believe is because they pissed around with the people's immune systems too much. So any sniffle and cold, yeah, they're back with a, with a vengeance and the body can't fight it. You know, I said this in a video last week. But now there's been an awful big rise apparently in hepatitis in children. Now, as far as I know, the only way you can catch hepatitis is through infected blood or touch. Um, I might be wrong. I'm not a medical expert by any far stretch of the imagination. But if this is the case, again, what have the kids been doing for the last two, three years? Constantly washing their defences out of their skin. Washing their hands constantly with chemicals and whatever's in there, you know, conditioners, sanitizers. This all takes away your natural defence from these diseases and infections. It stops your body being able to fight the nasty things. 
And what are they considering now? <laughs> Where if it flares right up, they're, they're considering even on the table of uh, euthanizing people's pets. Um, rodent type pets like hamsters, rats, mice, gerbils, because these are the main carriers. Well, this will do absolutely nothing, you knobends. Because no matter where you stand in this country, nobody is more than about 10 foot away from a rat at any one time. This country is infested with them, so culling domestic ones ain't going to do a blind bit of good whatsoever. Absolute knobend who ever came up with that one. <laughs> and uh, then we get to the EU. Uh, this is all stuff I've just heard by the way over the weekend as i say i haven't looked into a lot i haven't had a lot of time so but it looks like germany is uh scaling back its um arm support for the ukraine apparently they're not sending them as much they're not sending them as good equipment and they've scaled right back on the amount while at the same time scaling up the amount of gas they order from Russia. Yeah, these sanction type things are going really well, aren't they? With most countries that are sanctioning them, sanctioning Russia, still buying off them, still dealing with them. Again, it is just a load of bullshit that they feed us. <laughs> I mean, the mainstream media have been reporting all weekend that um, Dover's at a standstill. No, it ain't. Been plenty of channel paddlers coming in. Border Force and RLI have been going back and forth. It's like, God knows what. So, Dover, isn't it? A standstill. <laughs> Only if you're leaving. You're free to come in, but you can't leave. It's about right. And what do you know? Mainstream media have picked up today on the fact that the police aren't doing their jobs. Not turning up to incidences, not taking people seriously, not investing, creating, investigating crimes. <laughs> Where you've been for the last 10 years, mainstream. This has been happening for years. They just don't give a shit about us. <laughs> when you're going to realise that. They give as much thought to us as we do to the BBC, so... Anyway, guys, I'm going to cut this one short. Um, I have got things to do today, and it does look like it's going to stay dry. So, <coughs> Just because I'm not working full-time at the moment doesn't mean to say I've got things to do, so, including going to do some shopping, I think. So anyway, until the next one, guys, as always, thank you for your support. My respects to each and every one of you. And if you want to go and see some of the channels that I watch, um, the main ones that I watch, although they are a few of what I watch, um, there's always the links in the description below. I always put a link to my favourite channels in there. So, anyway, guys, as always on our part, stay safe, stay strong, stay free from the propaganda and the tyranny. I'm gone.